Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech and we're here with Nancy. Uh, Nancy, what's the name of your company? South Central Cichlids. South Central Cichlids. And they make a really, really wide array of, I guess they, uh, it could be cichlid or maybe Placo Caves, yeah. uh, depending on what you've got. And uh, we're going to talk to her about it right after this. Alright, so what are these made of? Um, food grade ceramic stoneware. And it's clay. And do you do you bake them in a big kill or something like that? Yes, they're fired at about 2300 degrees in the kiln. How long does it take to put one of these together? There's about maybe half hour, 45 minutes per piece. Do you have a mold or something? How do you get these ridges? I don't. I extrude two inch tubes. And then it has to dry to a certain, you know, so I can um, mark it, put the ends on. These are pinched, but you know they're all you know, clean and sanded after they're marked, so they're smooth inside and out. That's really interesting. Oh, so they are very smooth on the inside. Oh, this one's harder to tell than. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's no, very nice. Yeah, now, just no rough edges at all. I've recently added one of these to my aquarium and my Flaco instantly ran in there and took it over. Yeah. So why do they like these so much? I don't know. Maybe it's the love that's put into them. I don't know. <laughs> they sense the love. That they they sense the love. How many different sizes do you sell? I sell, there's, I have one inch. These are smaller than an inch, some of them. Maybe three quarters of an inch. Um, they're good for small um, high pins. Um, some of the fry like to um, hide in these. Okay. Um, one inch, and then we have one and a quarter inches, two inch, and then the four inches. All the way down to the four inch. Wow, and those are really big. What would you put in something like that? A lot of cichlids go in these. Um, also, um, frontosa, they're good for. These, I, you know, these are good for hiding in. I started making these because a lot of my larger fish would go in here and I never see them. Right. So I started making them shorter so they could stick their head in there, they'd feel comfortable, but I could still see them through there. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So they sort of stick their head in the sand right. kind of thing. And these were made for plecos and also for nicorgrets. Um, Don Danko, I read an article that he wrote and he saw the nicorgrets going into the side of the banks instead of building a pit. Huh. So I started, and, I, and of course it's named the Danko after Don Danko. Very cool. What, what are these? These are um, fry keepers. They float oh, in the water. Okay. And they're good um, if you've got a fish that's being um, attacked and you want to put it in here and then you, know, you have to have time to heal. If you're catching fish, out of your tank, you float this in your tank and just catch them and stick them in here, and it's good. There's also a top that goes on there. So Very handy. You can sort of sequester them away from right. their right. tank. Also, if they fit on the top of a 10-gallon tank, so if you get lit back late from an auction, you can stick this in the 10-gallon tank with the female in here, male on the outside, and they're still available to you know, They can still see each other and know they're there. I feel comfortable, but also the um, female is protected. Right. So it, a lot of times you wake up and your female's dead in the morning, so this helps protect Beaten her. Beaten up really right. bad. Uh, Great. Thank you so much for talking to me today. You. That's all today, folks. Follow your bliss. Keep a clean tank. We'll be back with more videos real soon.